This video will show you how to remove the heat exchanger tube on a 5-20kW Northern Lights Marine Generator set. If your engine is running warm, it may be because of a clogged heat exchanger tube. Marine growth can occur inside the tube, or a bits of the impeller may come loose and lodge in the tube, blocking the coolant. To remove and clean your heat exchanger tube, you'll need the following tools. Two nut drivers, 5 16th and 9 32nd, to remove the hose clamps. Slotted screwdrivers to remove the rubber boots from the ends of the heat exchanger a hose hook to help remove the hose from the hose barb, and potentially a soft-faced hammer, especially if you have a high hour gen set. First, open the coolant cap from the top of the expansion tank, allowing the water jacket to depressurize. From the service side, open the petcock to drain coolant from the engine block. Close the petcock once the coolant is removed. Make sure to perform a fresh water flush before refilling. This will help remove any impurities from the cooling system. Remove enough coolant from the block that the level is below the tube bundle. Remove the hose clamps with a 5 16th nut driver. Returning the cap to the expansion tank will keep it from falling into the bilge. Remove hose clamps from both sides of the heat exchanger housing. If you don't have a nut driver, the slotted screwdriver will also work. Remove the boot from the heat exchanger housing using a flathead screwdriver or preferably a hose hook. Be careful not to scratch or tear the boot. Remove both the front and back hoses. Carefully slide the heat exchanger out through the front of the housing. 5 through 20 Northern Lights generator sets do not require zincs. The unit's rubber mounts isolate and prevent electrolysis. The heat exchanger is made of cupro nickel, which resists saltwater corrosion. Once the heat exchanger tube is removed, use a long, thin rod to remove any foreign materials. Clean the holes all the way through, checking for daylight to ensure that there are no clogs. In extreme cases, chemical cleaning may be required. This is to be performed only by a qualified shop with a chemical hot tank for safety and proper disposal. Note the two large holes exposing the tubes at either end of the tube bundle. These holes must be oriented at the 6 o'clock position when reinserting into the manifold. Note the small bleed hole opposite the large holes. This is to be oriented at the top of the tube when reinserting. Newer heat exchangers are painted with the word up on the heat exchanger housing, showing how the housing should be oriented. Gently but firmly press the heat exchanger tube into the housing and out the backside. Leave space for the boots on both ends of the tube. Turn the clamps, making sure that the tube is centered within all four clamp seals. Otherwise, the tube can slide out when water rushes through it. Working back to front, hand torque tightly. The expanding band will prevent damage to the hose. Tighten both small clamps onto the heat exchanger first before the large ones.
Steal the petcock, then refill the cooling system with the recommended coolant. We recommend a 50-50 pre-mixed ethylene glycol conventional diesel engine coolant. Return the coolant cap and tighten. Start the engine and monitor the temperature. Make sure there is no bulging or pulsing in the hose, which would indicate a poor seal. After running for about an hour, check the coolant levels to make sure that no coolant has been lost. 